Hey guys, I'm Cosmin and I was wondering if you guys have two monitors. Do you keep them side by side or do you keep them stacked like I do? When it comes to dual monitor setups, there is obviously more you could do when it comes to productivity because you physically have more space to play with. But could you do just as much when it comes to creativity on a single monitor? Or does having more monitors actually do more for you? Does looking like a professional actually helps you become one? Over the years, I've had a few monitors. I still remember my first dual monitor setup with a pair of HP 24 inch monitors. I moved on to dual 27 and two years ago, I got one of these, the Dell 4K UP 3216Q. I must have read like everything online about this monitor and watched like every single video on YouTube and decided to stick with the 16Q versus the newer U3219Q and I loved it so much I even got a second one. When I got my first dual monitor set up, I was very excited because in my mind, the more you had, the more you could do, which is true to some extent, but I was already seeing myself as a professional colorist. Hollywood was obviously the next big step for me. But when it comes to dual monitor setups, you might just want to take a pair of screens, put them side by side and be done with it. But that's not the only way. Depending on your needs and wants, there might be a better solution. I chose to put my monitors one on top of another. And what works for me might not necessarily work for you, depending if you're a gamer, a programmer. For video editing, this is the best solution I could come up with over the years. I've had them side by side. I had one in landscape mode and one in portrait mode. But for a year now, I chose to stack my monitors because I just feel more comfortable with the edit. I don't think there is a correct way of setting up your monitors, but having the freedom of choice is part of the fun. I think most of us, I'm certainly guilty of this. We choose to surround ourselves with the latest and greatest, but one of the best pictures I ever took was on a trip to Greece last year. Before I had the Sony A7R4, before I had the Fuji X100V, I just had a normal X100 and it was the most fun I ever had with the camera. I shot multiple ads, a few music videos, and most of them were shot with nothing but a pocket 4K, which is not an expensive camera. Would Nari Alexa have helped? Yep, yeah, of course. But we got the job done because the idea was there, everyone knew what to do, and it was fun. When it comes to the side-by-side, -side, this is definitely the layout I think people use the most. Putting your monitors, whether it's two or three side-by-side, -side, is one of the easiest layouts to set up and offers a lot of flexibility. At first, I thought it doesn't take much to turn your head from side to side, but the bigger the monitors were getting, the harder it got for my neck. For many of you, the only real downside of the side-by-side -side layout is that it can take up a lot of desk space. But getting a monitor mount can help with this by freeing up a lot of surface area. Now, there's a reason why this layout is so common. It's easy and it's functional. I used the side-by-side -side layout for many years. At one point, I had two 27-inch monitors, one in landscape mode and one in portrait. And it was the best for media, editing, and browsing. Three, four years ago, I was using Premiere Pro and it was especially good for Premiere because you can arrange panels however you see fit until I started using DaVinci and everything changed. I wanted to change something about my monitors. So I went from the 24 to the 27, from dual 27, and eventually got a 32 inch display. The downside of having two 32-inch displays side by side, really annoying and even rough for your neck having to swivel your neck using these 32-inch screens. And when it comes to video editing, I just couldn't see the big picture. Like literally, I couldn't see the two monitors side by side at the same time because I was watching the timeline and my field of view wasn't wide enough to watch the clean feed on the second display. Even if I move back a bit, it just didn't seem natural on these larger 32 inch screens. 
Compared to the side-by-side -side setup, I just feel more comfortable now having my monitor stacked. Especially when I made the switch to Da Vinci, I wanted more and more to have a second monitor above, just to use it as a clean feed. To see the video just as the client would, for example. I know you can enable dual screen in Da Vinci. I know you can export the video and preview it on a single monitor. I just like using them by enabling the video clean feed on the monitor above. There are a few things I did change though. First of all, the chair. I changed my normal IKEA office chair to this. The Razer Esker, which I wouldn't do again for many reasons. It's a love-hate relationship with the Razer chair, but it's a yes to gaming chairs, a hard maybe for the Razer one. But chairs like this really help you maintain your posture when leaning back to look up at the second display. It's not really as high as you would think, but you have to take into account that two 32 inch displays mounted on top of each other really work your neck at first. I find it very comfortable now, but it does take some getting used to. There is a second thing I changed. For example, if you have a normal office, and by normal I mean something from Ikea. Mine is 80 centimeters in width and 160 centimeters in length. And it worked for 24 inches, it worked for 27 inches, but for 32, not to mention two 32, this place, it was just too big for my eyes. I was sitting way too close. So what I did was I bought a second desk tabletop, mounted it on top of the first, and I was just sliding it to create more depth and managed to modify the total width of the office by a total of 20 centimeters, which I hear is quite a lot. To fix the second tabletop in place, I just used some Phillips screws and to keep the whole setup clean, the holes are actually covered by the speakers I have, which are these Yamaha HS7 Studio Monitors. Stacked setups do take up less surface area, but at first it's very uncomfortable having to crane your neck to look at the second display above. Overall, I've gotten used to this motion and I find it better for video editing. I see the timeline, I see the clean feed on the top monitor, I get a sense of what's going on with the edit and especially in the color page because as I make adjustments, I can see the image transform on a 4K display in front of me instead of this small window in Da Vinci. When I had the same exact monitors and the side-by-side -side layout, I was really feeling disconnected. And this may sound stupid, but I was feeling disconnected because I physically couldn't see the two monitors at the same time because they're they're huge and when I made changes to the grade or changes to any edit I had to look over at the clean feed of my second display and there was a lot of enabling and disabling of nodes just to get a sense of the change because my field of view wasn't wide enough having said that when you are not color grading or editing and the stack layout a monitor is just really sitting there above your eyesight. So this limits the monitor on top to just performing secondary tasks because you won't need to look at it as much. So keep that in mind. But if you enjoy your side-by-side -side setup, maybe a side-by-side -side setup is for you. If you do have two monitors, just try putting one in portrait mode and the one in landscape mode. It did work for me a number of years. It goes without saying that a calibration tool is needed. I have the Spider-X Pro and I don't know if you can see this clearly, but my monitor looks like this. So on and off, on and off. So a calibration tool is something that you need to have. You can customize your monitor setup however you see fit. This video will hopefully, hopefully help inform your decision. You can always mix and match these different setup methods to create something ideal for you. It took me quite some time as a video editor to come to this setup, and I can not guarantee that in the future this is going to be the only setup for me. I might just try different things, but give it time. Don't be afraid to experiment. This definitely works for me, but just do your own thing. You never know until you try.